to talk a little bit today about uh, triangulated four-link assemblies, or four-link assemblies in general, and the difference between polyurethane joints and our new patented R joints. So the typical four-link assembly, be it parallel, triangulated, whatever, comes with polyurethane bushings. Um, most people are well aware that you know, they squeak, they, they wear out, they, they do all kinds of stuff that uh, isn't really in the best interest of a nice riding and nice handling car. So we built this scaled model of a triangulated four-link to show you the extent of that situation. Uh, the geometry on this is, is the same geometry that we imply, employ in all the RideTech triangulated four-links, just scaled down a little bit. So to get this thing to, to move, I had to C-clamp it to the workbench. And you can see it's pretty stiff. It, it won't even come back to rest unless I push it down. And it has no articulation, no articulation at all. So it's, it's going to be like driving a, a ladder bar car for those of you that used to do some drag racing. In comparison, the R-joint, which is not even bolted down, this plate is not, moves up and down very freely, articulates very freely. You can imagine how much nicer ride quality and much more consistent handling this is gonna offer you over the polyurethane bushings. So to demonstrate that in tangible terms, went to the store and got this little fish scale, it was about 15 bucks, and got the old hose clamp here. So let's turn this thing on. See it's zero right now. Let's put it on here and see what it takes to lift this thing. And I can't even lift it any more than that because it's all bound up. Of course, it won't go down. Okay. Now, let's go over here, hook this baby up, and see what we got. And I can raise it a lot farther, as you can see. And in addition, I can articulate it. Imagine that's one of your wheels going over a bump. Doesn't really affect the other one that much. Now, let's go back here and try that with the polyurethane setup. One wheel goes over the bump. So does the other one. I think you all get the idea. 